What exactly are RGB mini LED and micro RGB LED TVs? Well, they both improve LCD picture quality with higher brightness and wider color gamut, but still face LCD limits. So let's break down the models, prices, and OLED comparisons. I'm Elon Osborne, and this is Acoustically Speaking. Sorry folks, but buying a TV in 2025 isn't as simple as picking between OLED and LCD. Sure, those are the two core platforms, but each has splintered into subtypes with different strengths, weaknesses, and price tags. The result? A confusing mess for shoppers trying to figure out which tech actually delivers the best bang for their buck. Let's cut through the noise and break down the newest TV technology being labeled RGB mini LED and micro RGB LED TVs. In 2025, Hisense and Samsung introduced the latest advancements in LCD technology. Hisense is calling it RGB mini LED, previously labeled as trichroma LED, FYI. And Samsung is calling it micro RGB. Sony has also shown journalists a sneak peek of a similar system, but has yet to unveil production displays that use the technology. The implementations are essentially the same, moving from white or blue backlights for the LCD panel to individual lighting elements for the three primary colors, red, green, and blue. But Samsung uses slightly smaller individual backlights that measure under 100 micrometers as opposed to 100 to 200 micrometers, so they're referring to their system as micro RGB as opposed to RGB mini LED. You with me here? But really, this is more marketing speak than a radical difference in technology. Go figure. This new type of TV backlighting builds on the existing LCD TV design, often called LED TVs, but changes how the LCD imaging panels are lit up. To understand what the new RGB TVs do, it's helpful to understand the basics of LCD TVs. LCD stands for Liquid Crystal Display, which is the panel that all LCD TVs use to form an image. On its own, the LCD panel only produces a black and white image, and it's not bright enough to view in normal room lighting. To create color and a bright visible image, LCD panels require a backlighting system most commonly white or blue LEDs, combined with either traditional color filters or a quantum dot enhancement layer in order to generate all the on-screen colors. There are several variations of LCD TVs defined by the type of backlighting and color reproduction technology used. Depending on the approach, LCD TV backlighting may use edge lighting, lighting strips along one or more edges of the TV with a light diffuser to spread the backlight across the entire panel. Or it may use direct lighting, an array of lighting elements spread across the entire screen. Within direct lighting sets, you can have anywhere from a few dozen to a few thousand different lighting zones. And as TVs get more of these light modules, they've shrunk the size of each module to the point that they can call them mini LEDs. The best LED LCD TVs use thousands of direct mini LED backlights in a technique called local dimming, which allows individual control of each backlighting module. This allows the TV to be more precise in reproducing both bright and dark parts of an image on screen at the same time without too much bleed or interference between the bright and dark sections. Meanwhile, color reproduction on an LED slash LCD TV could be handled by a traditional color filter, which electronically filters white light in order to generate color for each pixel, or by quantum dot technology, which uses microscopic light sensitive dots to add color to the blue LED backlight. Quantum dot TVs typically go by names such as QLED, quantum light emitting diode, or QNED, quantum nanocell emitting diode depending on the manufacturer, of course. It's enough terminology to make your head spin, honestly, but the good news is that the new RGB LCD tech replaces all that with something mostly new. RGB mini LED and micro RGB LED technology aim to elevate LCD performance by replacing traditional white or blue LED backlights with individually controlled red, green, and blue LEDs arranged in mini 
or micro scale arrays. Just as a reminder, RGB mini LED uses LEDs that measure between 100 and 200 micrometers, which means each LED is a distinct red, green, or blue light source, which allows for more precise color control and improved brightness compared to conventional backlighting systems. Micro RGB LED takes this concept further by using even smaller LEDs, enabling an even denser arrangement of individually addressable RGB emitters. This approach can deliver higher color accuracy, deeper contrast, and improved efficiency by reducing the reliance on color filters or quantum dot conversion layers. Both RGB mini LED and micro RGB LED remain LCD based technologies. They still require a liquid crystal layer to form the image but their backlighting systems bring them closer to the color performance of emissive displays like OLED or micro LED. Also, while current RGB backlit TVs do not use quantum dots for color reproduction, they do still require a color filter in order to generate precise colors for each individual pixel. But the color filter and the processor that drives it have had to evolve in order to accommodate the dynamics of having individual red, green, and blue lighting elements. In both RGB mini LED and micro RGB LED systems, the LEDs are positioned behind the LCD panel and grouped into zones. Unlike conventional LCD backlighting, these systems allow independent control of each red, green, and blue LED, enabling far more precise light and color management. The result is an LCD image that is color optimized at a much higher level than traditional backlight methods can achieve. So far, three brands have adopted this technology. Hisense and Samsung have already shown production models, while Sony has only shown prototypes. Hisense has implemented the RGB mini LED approach using backlights made up of individually controlled red, green, and blue mini LEDs arranged in zones behind the LCD panel. They claim to be able to reproduce up to 95% of the BT2020 color spectrum, which is impressive to say the least. Samsung, on the other hand, has taken the micro RGB LED path, proving finer control and potentially higher precision in color and brightness management with those even smaller backlights. Samsung claims an even more impressive 100% of BT2020 color reproduction in full screen color measurement tests. Samsung's micro RGB terminology can easily be confused with micro LED, so it's important to clarify the distinction. A micro LED TV uses microscopic LEDs to form the image directly without any LCD panel or backlighting system required. Each pixel consists of three subpixels that independently emit red, green, and blue light. These subpixels carry the information themselves allowing each micro LED pixel to be individually brightened, dimmed, or turned off entirely. The micro LEDs are mounted on a backing surface that acts as both the structural platform and the display panel. Unlike LCD TVs, no separate backlight or color filtering layer is needed because the micro LEDs themselves generate both the light and the color for the image. Conceptually, micro LED technologies is similar to OLED TVs, as both use self emissive pixels to create the image. However, micro LED pixels are inorganic, avoiding issues such as color degradation over time, screen burn in from prolonged static images, or temperature related brightness limitations. Although, LED has largely addressed high brightness performance in recent years. Just so you know. Micro RGB is quite different from micro LED because despite the use of microscopic LEDs, these LEDs function only as a color backlight for an LCD panel. They do not generate the image themselves, meaning the LEDs handle illumination while the LCD panel and color filters manage the light, color, and display functions. Mini LED and micro RGB technologies when paired with an LCD display panel enable substantial improvements in picture quality and color performance for LCD based TVs. These backlighting systems can expand the color gamut to approach or even meet the elusive BT2020 standard and deliver higher peak brightness, enhancing HDR content reproduction. However, because an LCD panel is still required to form the final image, some inherent limitations remain. 
These include haloing around bright objects, uneven lighting, which is more commonly referred to as dirty screen effect, the inability to achieve true black levels, and narrower viewing angles compared with OLED displays. With the backlighting systems becoming more precise, these issues are becoming less objectionable for most viewers. RGB mini LED and micro RGB backlighting are just beginning to enter the market, with Hisense and Samsung leading the charge while Sony is expected to launch models in 2026. The initial offerings are massive and expensive. Hisense's 116-inch model starts at $24,999 on Amazon, and Samsung's 115-inch model is priced at $29,999. Sony's pricing and sizes remain to be seen, but I think we can all predict that their prices will be subject to the Sony tax and end up being even more expensive than the prices I just mentioned. Yikes. While the technology still isn't perfect, it is definitely a step in the right direction for those not wanting to pay OLED prices while achieving a picture quality that is getting closer and closer to OLED. But in order for RGB mini LED and micro RGB to achieve broader adoption, the industry will need to introduce smaller, more practical screen sizes and more affordable pricing, hands down. Despite early hype, these technologies are not poised to kill off OLED, which continues to innovate and maintain advantages in image quality and versatility. So what say ye, fellow TV enthusiasts? Are RGB pixels the future of mid-tier TVs, or good enough for a massive 115-inch display without paying insane OLED prices for a similarly sized screen? Let us know in the comments below. As always, to keep up on all things TVs, home audio, home theater, hi-fi, wearables, gadgets, and tech, be sure to bookmark eacoustics.com. Until next time.